What's going on, the engineer team? This is video 7 of 10 in my Python Basics video series. In this video, we're talking about dictionaries. Just like every video in this series, the level's beginner. So first, what are dictionaries? Dictionaries are a way to store what's called a key value pair. And it's nothing more than a value which you store in the dictionary, but you access it and store it based on a key. So your key might be name, key might be age, or something else. And we'll use some of those examples here shortly. So we'll talk about how to initialize dictionaries, how to add, access, change, and remove items from dictionaries, and how to iterate over a dictionary. You'll notice that dictionaries and lists are kind of similar. Initializing a dictionary is very simple. Simply type your variable name. So I'm gonna use my DIC, short for dictionary, an equal sign, and then curly braces. So now that I have my new dictionary, I'm going to start adding items to it. I'm going to add three items, which will be three values, and I'm going to use three different keys. So to add an item to your dictionary, type your dictionary name, you'll use square brackets, and then you'll put the name of the key. So in this case, I'm going to do name. And then I'll put Brian. So I'm going to do three more of these. The second one I'll do is, we'll say state, and the last one's age. So of course I'm from Florida, everybody knows that. And my age is 37. So now I have a dictionary and I will output that dictionary just so you can see what that has in it. You can see it shows all the items here. If you want to access an item in a dictionary, it's kind of like adding it, but without the equal sign and the value. So if I want to get the value of the key, key name, I'll do print my DIC and then the name. You can see it shows as Brian right there. If I want to change an item in a dictionary, it's actually the exact same as adding it. You're just reusing the key. So if I want to change it from Brian to engineer man, I would do it like so. If I want to remove an item, it's kind of like a list. You use the same keyword, del, short for delete. You specify, of course, your dictionary name and then you specify the key. So I will delete the state from the dictionary. And now if I output my DIC again, you can see that age is the same, name has been changed, and state is just not there anymore. Iterating over a dictionary is kind of like iterating over a list, but with two small differences. So I'll just type it out real quick, and then we'll look at it. So you'll notice two differences. First, I have k comma v, and that's basically short for key comma value. And that's because unlike a list, we both have a key and a value. And the second change is I can't just do in my underscore dict. I have to do dot iter items, which is a function. And that will give me the key value pair for every item in my dictionary. So from here, I can output each item. So what I'll do is I'll print the key, then I'll print just this little fat arrow, then I'll print the value. And when we run it, you can see age, 37, name, engineer man. And we're done, that's dictionaries. Comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I read every single comment. I respond to almost every comment if I can. Subscribe if you want notifications for new videos. And if you thought the video deserved it, hit the like button. See you on video eight.